Hey guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine tutorial. In this video, we'll be making this beautiful landscape from scratch um, with the help of the Unreal Engine starter pack. So, what you can do is just create a default project like I did right here and add in the starter pack. Um, you can name it whatever you want. And now, in the content browser over here, I'm going to create a new folder just to put in everything that we're going to do in this video. I'm going to call this one just new. Uh, nothing fancy. And now in here, actually up here in file, I'm going to do new level. And then in new level, I'm going to do time of day. Now I have a quickly loaded nice time of day map, which I can do control S to save. And I'm going to put this in our new folder that we just created. And I'm just going to keep the same name, new map. And now what you can do is delete what Unreal gave you. And what I'll do is I'll take all these. So I'm going to hold shift and go all the way down here. And I'm going to bring those up. And I'm also going to delete the player start. So that's where the player would start. Uh, but let's just delete that. So now we, that we did that, let's we can save it again. And now we're in uh, object mode and select mode now let's bring it to landscape mode you can also do shift f2 uh, shift 2 sorry to change it and now here it's giving us this shape what we're going to do we're just going to click on fill world so now we get a much larger area and we're going to change this to grass so you can look up grass and you can have this this uh, grass material over here. Oh, that's the wrong one. We can change it to ground grass, this one. And you can do create. Now you have a full world of grass, of, yeah, just grass. And now we're going to go all the way at the end. And now what we're going to do is in here we're going to go in right click and then in materials and texture we're going to go and create a new material function and this one we're going to call it grass okay now if we go in our content browser or actually if we just go back to our select mode and we click on our landscape right here we can see which one we have and let's just open let's find its location so it's right here and we can open that up so this is the grass that unreal engine gives us it's included if you added the starter pack um, which you need for this tutorial so um, what we'll do we'll go ahead and just copy everything And then we'll go back to our new folder and we'll paste it in here. So let's open up our function. Let's zoom out and paste. Now what we'll also do in here is right click and click make material attribute. And now in here we're going to plug in the lerp to the basic color here to the roughness and the last one to the normal. So we drag that out here, bring it up to the normal, which is right here. And then out of that, we can connect it in our output result. You can apply and save. And now we can close that up and close this. And what we'll also do is find uh, the rock. So if we go back to our, to our starter pack materials here, Let's look for a good rock that we can use for our mountains. So the basalt basalt uh, looks pretty good for us. So what we'll do, we'll copy it. And we'll do the same thing. So in our new folder, we'll create another one of these. We'll go uh, materials and textures, material function, and we'll call this one rock. And here, 
whoops, we'll paste in everything that we just copied. And then out of that, we're going to right click and make uh, make material attribute again. Plug that into the basic color and the roughness and in the normal. Now we can apply and save that. Now let's create a new material. And here we'll go material and let's call this one landscape. Okay, now in our landscape, let's open that up. And we can close this basalt one. Now in the landscape, let's create a new layer blend. So look up landscape. Layer blend is going to be the first one when you look up landscape. And now in here, on the side, we're going to add two no nodes. The first one, we're going to open it, call it grass second one let's open it and call it rock now from here let's go back to our, our content browser and let's slide in the grass and same thing for the rock and now let's plug that into our layer blend now if we plug this into uh, base color it won't really work you see there's an error so what we have to do first is get a break material attribute so we're gonna slide out of this and look and look break material attribute so in these what we did is that we make we made the material attribute now we have to break it so in here we'll do break and then we'll just plug that into the roughness the base color and the normal. Now if you apply and save, continue, there's still an error since now in here, let's assign our new landscape to the landscape. Now if we go in our landscape mode, in paint you should see grass and rock so let's add that and then same thing for the weight blend okay now there's still an error in here so what we'll do we'll so hold one on the keyboard and then add one like this and let's add a second one and then we'll right click and do convert to parameter and it's going to be slope sharpness sharpness and the value is going to be 30 and same thing for here convert to parameter and then it's going to be slope slope bias and that one's going to be minus 12 now out of here let's move this down here and right click and click and look up world aligned blend and now that's going to go in the sharpness and that's going to go in the bias. Now out of here, we're going to, out of the uh, explicit normal, we're going to go into a blend materials. Blend material attribute. So blend material attributes. Now out of here, in our layer blend, let's add another layer called layer auto. So let's add another tick. And this one's going to be called layer auto. Okay, and this is going to go in the layer auto. The grass is going to go in A. The rock is going to go in B. 
see our grass is in here and let's just fix up our rock so in the rock what we did is we forgot to plug this in here so let's plug that in here and there you go now we can put in the rock in here and in here there you go so what that just did is that it made it so that it add it automatically adds slope into our into our landscape. So when there's a mountain, there'll be grass on top and rocks on the side. So let's just leave it, let it save the package and compile. Now if we add this now, well first what we'll do is if you look here you can see that the rock is on top. There's a bit of rock and the grass is on top, so we actually inverted it. So if we go here, let's just switch that around. Let's go put the grass into B and A into rock. Let's save that. Okay, now if we do plus on here, weight blend layer normal. It contains a space. Let's take that out. And now, let's right-click on here and do Fill Layer. Okay, let's just do Save All so that in case our program crashes, we don't lose everything. And there you go. So, if we go now in Sculpt, and we add some noise, well, let's make our thing bigger. You can see that it becomes rock, and at the top, there's grass. So right now, it's really sharp, so there's not you don't see the grass too much. But let's add some noise and let's make it, let's go 0 0.005 and let's make this 10,000 and let's just add some noise in here. mountains if you click play we can see the mountains from here and now what we'll do we'll just change to our our sculpt and let's add some let's bring this back by clicking the yellow arrow scale this down and let's add some more natural mountains so some some taller mountains in here let's make this a bit bigger <laughs> back to select mode. And I'm going to drag my player start right here, turn him around. And now we can see and admire a nice valley. Now it doesn't look too completed right now. So what we'll do is we'll change the sunset. So in here, if you go on directional light and let's change the angle so that it's nicely in front of us. So let's try to find the sun. So I think it's hiding behind this mountain right now. So let's turn the angle. So that if you click play, we can see the sun setting. And now one more thing. 
we're going to go in volumes and then in in post processing volume let's add one in there let's move it out of the mountain and then have it selected so at the bottom here in post processing volume setting we're going to do unbound okay if you can find it easier by just going unbound and check that off and now it works for the whole world if you click play you can see the sun and what we'll do is we'll make it so that you get a glare when you look at the sun and we can find that here so if you check that off lens flare so let's check that let's see so now you have a flare from the sun in the on the camera you can change the intensity by just going here and change it putting it down let's show that again so now it's lower and that concludes today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed um this is how to make a, a pretty basic landscape in unreal engine um and yeah hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a like if you if you like the video and subscribe if you haven't yet thank you